Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video we're going to be talking about collage medium which is distress, in this case distress collage medium, which is a gel medium, a multi-medium. They're all basically the same product, just different companies use different names. Now if you're a crafter and you're wanting to get into mixed media, I recommend the Ranger product line. I find it's a very good product line. I know a lot of other companies do mediums and they're probably good as well. I personally have only used the Ranger line, so I can't really talk about how the other um, companies compare. So collage medium comes in a few different ways. Um, for one, it, this one is matte, and you'll see a lot of matte mediums, gel medium matte. Matte would be, if you're only buying one, buy a matte medium. The other way would be gloss, which would give you a shiny finish to your project where typically people who are starting in mixed media, um, you don't want that, that's more of a look for later. So I would go with the matte medium. Now Distress Collage Medium comes in a jar like this and it now also comes in a container like this. So I use both of them, they're both good. This is my go-to glue. If I'm gluing anything, I am using a medium, a collage medium. So when it's in a little line like, when it's in a bottle like this, it allows you, it has a um, small end and it allows you to squeeze out a tiny little bit. And so that's beneficial, say, if I'm gluing on a button, I can just squeeze out a little bit and put my button on. Or I can squeeze out a line and put my ribbon on. So collage medium is, twofold. One, it's a sealer. So you can seal your paper to put your mediums on. So you can seal with collage medium and then use um, distress crayons and smudge them if you want. It, you now have that sealer that you can do different things. But you can't seal a product and then use water-based materials. Water-based materials will just peel right off it. It's only good for gluing things down, sealing things in, and using pigments and acrylic paints on top of. So it's used a lot of time. The reason why this is called collage medium is so when you're doing collages. So after I completed my background, actually feeling this, I didn't even seal my paper. I just used it to glue it on. Now from here I have like tissue and doilies which are very thin and then I have paper. Collage medium will glue all of this down. Now, the next, the, okay, so before I get into that one, okay, so then this one is good. It comes like this, you use a palette knife, you can pick it up and spread it. So this way is good if you're covering your paper, sealing your paper, um, doing larger areas. If you're working in an art journal and you want to cover a larger area, then I recommend you getting it like this so you can just go in. Otherwise, you're going to be squeezing this on and all that. So they're both good to have. Um, I don't think either of them are very expensive and you're able to do what you want. Now, as you can see here, it is clear. So there's a little bit of white, but once it's dry, it is a clear medium. So whatever you're putting it over, all that color is going to show through. Now, Dina also has a ultra thick gel medium. So this is if you're getting into a lot of chunky, chunky things you wanna glue down. Look at the difference. That versus that. So this one you can still do some chunky things but it's a lot softer. This one it is thick. You can see how it holds its peaks like that. It is thick. So um, Finnebar, I think her name is, she does with, with Prima. She would use an ultra thick because it is going to put the lid on the wrong one. It is going to hold all those gears and metal and everything. So this is more of 
a product for somebody who's been doing multimedia for a while and they know I want to do the look with I'm going to add all that stuff on. If you are new to mixed media, you don't need this one yet. The regular collage medium will do you fine for everything you want to do. Now, this is just the basics, using it as a sealer and gluing down paper for collage. Um, there are many collage medium techniques you can do. You can even see when I'm putting it down how thick it is and how much more I'd have to spread it out to uh, get it smooth. So you don't need that thickness. So anyway, there's a lot of techniques you can do with collage medium. I've shown many on, the, on uh, my channel already. Um, but the basics to it is it's a sealer and a glue. And so if you're just starting out and you are like, what do I need to get? Just get the regular Distress Collage Medium. And if you want to go crazy, buy both, meth both uh, ways to buy it. Just because this is great for smaller gluing down items. And then this is good for being able to cover larger areas. Now, if you have more questions, if I haven't confused you even more, um, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try to answer questions you may have. But hopefully that gives you some idea. This is, I would recommend Distress Collage Medium or any multimedium as one of the first items you buy if you're starting mixed media. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in, in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.